there are tons of iPad note-taking apps. You've seen them, tons of them in the app store, and there's tons of videos on YouTube comparing them. This app though, I haven't really seen much coverage on, especially on YouTube. So Noteful is a freemium app designed for the iPad. Many of the features, the most important ones, are fully free and fully accessible. And if you'd like more of their pro level features or want to support the developer, it is only $4.99 US dollars for lifetime access, which is much cheaper than other iPad note-taking apps and you're not wrapped up in another subscription. On the main screen of Noteful, you'll see a sidebar on the left and your notebooks on the right. You can search across your notes, a crucial feature for a note-taking app, and adjust the view of your notebooks either in a thumbnail view or a list format, as well as sort between date or name. Noteful does add a challenge kit, which is essentially just a notebook that they've created to help you walk through the key features of the app and how it works. Probably making this video pretty moot, but I do want to walk you through some of my favorite features and why an app like this might make bigger apps like GoodNotes or Notability sweat a little bit. A key difference in Noteful is the ability to use and manage tags. Now you might be pretty familiar with tags, but if you aren't, they are a great way to filter content. Apple Notes has integrated tags recently and they're used across social media platforms to find stuff. And Noteful thinks it's no different than further categorizing your notes as well. So in addition to creating and organizing your files, your notes, digital planners, and all of the other things into folders, you can further categorize and search them with tags as well. You can long press on notes that you have in Noteful to edit the tags for a particular note. And also here at the bottom, you can click manage tags to edit, rename, or add tags. You can even create nested tags by typing out your main tag category and then slash whatever you'd like that nested tag category to be. When you go to create a new notebook, you also have the ability to add tags as well. Tags can be great, especially for students if, for instance, you have folders for each of your classes, but want to be able to tag and filter your notes based on something like whether it's for an exam or a paper. That way you can filter by all of your notes that have the exam prep tag rather than go into each folder for each of your classes. Another feature I like about Noteful is the quick create function. So on the main screen of Noteful, if you click this plus icon, you can create a new notebook to take notes, import your own files, but then they also have this quick create button. And when clicking this, it skips all of that initial notebook setup so you can quickly jot down your notes. If you have a specific notebook template that you like to use, you can click the gear wheel icon next to quick create to adjust those settings prior to needing to use this function. So I can come in here and change the paper template, color, orientation of the paper, that way, when I come to click quick create, a page is already ready for me to go in and take notes. Being able to quickly jot down notes is a great feature, especially for classes or professors that cover material extremely fast. Once inside Noteful, you have the same tools you'd expect of any note-taking app. Different pen tools to choose from, highlighters, the ability to add shapes and images. It can even record audio from lectures as well as a laser pointer for demonstrating and showing things on your iPad, like during presentations. But probably the most unique thing I've seen from Noteful, a note-taking app, I'll remind you, is layers. Now layers are typically reserved for more graphic design or illustration-based apps, but I think they would be incredibly helpful for something like note-taking too. And of course, digital planning on the iPad. For note taking, you can take all of your notes and have them on one layer. On the second layer, you can have things like diagrams and so on. It's a great way to break up your work in a non-destructive way because everything has a layer that it lives on. You can even use layers to test yourself since you have the ability to show, hide, and lock layers with Noteful. For example, you can have diagrams you need to memorize or vocabulary that you need to review. You can have the vocab word or diagram on one layer and the answers on another layer. Test yourself by hiding the answers layer and then show the layer when it's time to review. There's just so many unique ways that layers can be used for reviewing and retaining knowledge with these note-taking apps. Now in the free version of Noteful, you are limited to two layers, but again, $4.99 US dollars is still incredibly low compared to other paid note-taking apps on the App Store. Layers, of course, can also be great for things like digital planning, because you can have your handwriting all on one layer and things like digital stickers and images on another. Layers also allows you to see how things are 
layered. I mean, duh, but in other note-taking apps, it can be a little unclear how to layer certain assets like images. For example, in GoodNotes, whatever you add first to the app will be the bottom most layer, whereas whatever you add last will be on the top. And if you're adjusting things like images, it can make things a bit more difficult. With Noteful, you can adjust the layers, hide, show, lock, or delete them. I think layers alone is something that makes Noteful stand out and has incredible functionality for a ton of people, and especially students, as there are so many different applications for layers in the context of a note-taking app. Now, there's so much to check out with Noteful, and you can download it and use it for free. If you decide you want more layers or more notebooks, the ability to sync, and just a few other additional features with the paid version, you can upgrade for a one-time charge of $4.99, which again, I still think is pretty quite low compared to similar apps, making it pretty cost-effective for students too. If you would like to see a full tutorial and walkthrough of Noteful, showing you how to use all of the tools and features, let me know down in the comments. This was something that I did for GoodNotes and many people found that to be helpful. So if you think that would be helpful for Noteful too, I'm down to do it. If you're using Noteful, I would love to know what made you try it out. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye.